Hi everyone, welcome back to Actual Edge, your voted channel for the latest medical updates. Today, we're diving deep into the world of HIV treatment, a critical issue affecting millions globally. Did you know that the global HIV market is predicted to hit an astonishing valuation of 34.83 billion by 2023? And it's expected to grow a compound annual rate of 6% from 2023 to 2033. The main driver behind this? The alarming rise in HIV infection rates. Although advancements in medicine have curbed the number of deaths, the number of new cases hasn't seen a significant decline. The World Health Organization estimates that 33 million individuals are infected with HIV and only half of them have access to antiretroviral therapies. The Asia-Pacific region is expected to show rapid growth in the coming years. Countries like China and India have large densely populated areas with increasing numbers of HIV patients, pushing the demand for better treatment conditions. Here are some key takeaways. North America led the market in 2022 with a whopping 21 billion US dollars in sales. Approximately 54% of all HIV individuals are women and girls. From 2018 to 2022, sales have increased at a CAGR of 1.6%. Now, let's talk about some groundbreaking developments. In July 2021, Unitaid and the Clinton Health Access Initiative partnered with Hetero Labs to provide more affordable second-line treatments in low- and middle-income countries. In March 2021, Gillette Sciences and Merck announced a collaboration for a new long-term HIV treatment. And just last year, the FDA approved Cabanuva, an injectable drug for treating HIV in adults. Why is all of this crucial? Well, improved treatment options and increased awareness can save lives. By understanding the growth in this market, we're not just talking about numbers, we're talking about potential lives saved and communities transformed. And that's a wrap for today's update. For more medical news you need to know, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay curious, stay informed and stay healthy.